I got, I got one question for you. Yeah. How the hell, how the hell did you turn your image around? Because you was known as a tough gangster ass nigga. Now people see you as a fun loving, funny guy. How the fuck did you do that? I always been. A fun <laughs> I always been. <laughs> I always been that because I'm a family guy first. You know what I'm saying? Right. I love my family. And when it comes to taking blocks and, and, and drug shit, I'm different. You know, you know what I mean? Right. And I remember my nephew, he, he had a, a body in three attempts in Atlanta. And they was looking for him. I, my crib in Long Island, he can't stay with me. I was hiding him out. And then um, he got tired of running. He said, yo, I'm going I'm to I'm turn myself in. I said, you, you sure? He said, yeah, yeah. So I would go to Atlanta. Now we down in Atlanta. We talk to him in the garage. And I'm, I'm telling him I'm worried about him because I know prison. And he said to me, he said, um, my, my nephew Joe, he said, um, I'm different in the streets than I'm around y'all. Like, I'm, I'm family. I'm, I'm fun. I make jokes. But I'm in the streets, I'm something totally different. So when I'm in the streets, I'm something totally different. But around my peoples, I'm fun. I'm happy, I'm making jokes, I'm, you know what I mean? But when I'm on that field, it's something totally different. Cause I know mm. you can lose your life in a second. You know what I'm saying? Like, <coughs> it was, it was one, one, one kid, he lost his life with us. And I'll never forget this. And um, I hope his family watching. He ran away from his family to be with us. He was about 14 years old. He just kept running away. His family put him in homes. He said, I'm back, y'all. I'm back. I'm with the team. I'm back. I'm back. I just look at this thing like, yo, we got to stop running away, man. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You have family call the police on us. Now I'm back. I'm back. And I'm, I'll never forget this. Governor did a horse. Horse was like young, but he was like a, a big young dude. Like, you know, he can fight. He was like, a, all the young dudes look up to him. And and I remember this day, I was in the projects, me, Garby, and Prince. We was in the projects on building three, down the hill. We sitting there, we hear shots. Ba 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 ba. So I'm like, so we all looking. So B, you know, B, B, Garby was the, like, the one that taught Prime. Like, he was the dude that, hey, hey. Listen, listen where the bullet's coming from. So we looking, so niggas like, yo, it come from that way. So we start going towards that way. So we get to that way, we see guys laid out. Guys? We, yeah, guys, laid out on the ground, shot. Like, no, I, I'm saying it was, yeah. it was multiple guys. Multiple guys, yeah. multiple guys on the ground. And this young, the young guy I was telling you about was laid out on the ground. And I looked over him, I looked at him, and he had blood come out of his ears, you know what I'm saying, in his mouth. And God B looked at me, he said, he's dead. And he's a young kid. I'm looking at him like laid, laid out. He said, let's go, we, we out. You know, you know I want to be there, you know what I mean? P police, you know, you don't want to be there when the police yeah, show up. Yeah, police show up. So niggas that we out. And I looked at this little kid and I was like, and I was I was fresh with the team, not fresh, but I was down, you know. But and I thought about it. I'm like, that simple, we can walk away from this kid here, this dead. And it it stuck with me for my whole life, like watching this kid be happy to be down with us, but then he get murdered. That was what God was trying to show you what was to come. Yeah. So I, it, it, it's funny you said that because. What made me quit the game, what made me quit the game, I, I knew it was over, and I was start doing my music. It was this, this guy named Rashawn. He was horses man. And they went to jail, right? He'd been gone for like 10 years. And I'm on the block on 119. And um, he came in, he just stared at me, he looked at me. So I'm, it's my block, so everybody outside, you know? Guns in the garbage can, you know, everybody outside. So he looked at me, so I told my man, I'm gonna say, yo, watch him. 
he goes in the, in, the, in, the, in the chicken joint. So he, he in there, well, he come back out. He look at me. He said, you didn't bend me, right? I said, yeah, what's up? Right? So now niggas on him already. I said, yeah, what's up? He said, Ross on. Now mine still didn't click on me because the energy he gave me. So I wasn't really paying attention to his name or where I remember him from. He said, you know, the horse, that's my brother. I said, we were horse. And I, I said, oh, shit. You should be in the park. And we hugged, right? I said, when well, you come home, bro, you old, we kicking it. He said, I just came home, you know, this week. You know, but his baby mother was from Queens. He from, like, Harlem. So he, he called my phone and said he's in Harlem. His baby mother is partying. And, you know, she had a baby in her. The baby's dead. You know, he told me all type of shit. I said, don't worry about it. I'm coming to Harlem now. I'm going to pick you up, bring you to Queens. I go to Harlem. I pick him up. Come to Queens. So, I, so I'm in my crib. I got a white feel like warm born with a white, white sneak, you know, the top tens, right? So um, he said, I want that suit, man. I said, don't worry about it. We'll go to the mall later on. I'm going to buy it for you. We good. I'm going to get it for you. So now we go back to my crib. So I said, yo, we're going to go to the block. We got to check on the workers. So I go on the block. I'm on 119. Now, his baby mother there. So she talking to him. They all, they riding Bob. So now I'm talking to my man Black. All of us talking. So my, my, my eye, I see a nigga with a bandana on his, on his head, on, on, you know, around his face. And I see Rasan fighting the nigga. The nigga go for his chain. And I watch him, like, like, like duff him out, right? So I turn, I spin, I, so I go over there. Next thing you know, I see a nigga come from the corner, just start, <clears throat> start just shooting. I said, oh, shit. And I backed up, and they, they were shooting him. And I runs in the chain store with everybody. Everybody clear the block. And I'm like, yo, where the guns at? Where the guns at? And niggas ain't put no guns. Garbage. Niggas had no guns. I'm like, y'all niggas is crazy. So I'm in the Chinese restaurant. I mean, the, 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 what's them niggas? The African niggas, whatever. The chicken joint. So I go in there. They say, I said, so they tell that my other little man in. They won't let him in. They said, don't let him in. Let him in. So then I'm thinking. As I'm sitting on, I'm in there, I said, you know what? Fuck this. I run outside. Niggas grab me like, yo, don't go out there. I said, nah, Rod's on out there. So I go out there, and Rod, he, he didn't hit the ground yet. He holding, he, he like this, and I grab him. And I'm picking him, trying to hold, but he's heavy. Because he's losing it, he's heavy. So I'm like, yo, help me, help me. So as I'm trying to hit him, hold him, his head hit the ground. Boom. That was it. That was it. I said, put him in a car, take him to the hospital. They put him in a car, take him to the hospital. It start drizzling. I said, he gone. You know what I'm saying? He washing his sins away. He gone. So three days later, four days later, whatever, I'm, I'm on the block. Detectives come. They get the car. They, one here, one here. They walk, trying to block me in. So I'm walking in the block. They said, let me talk to you. What's up? He said, um, they said the hit was for you. Right? I said the hit was for me. I said I had all white on. How the hit for me? I had all white on. You know what I'm saying? It was a robbery. You know what I'm saying? And it just fucked me up that he lost his life. He just came home for nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he lost his life. For nothing. And I was like, this ain't for me. This hot fuck. Trap, trap, and turn smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars, I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth, you heard. Got your baby mama thirst, you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf, you heard.